We begin at five with breaking news out of the capital city. A Providence Middle School teacher has been arrested. He's facing two counts of child molestation. 51 year old Joseph Tenno was arrested and arraigned this morning. He's an eighth grade teacher at the Essex Hopkins Middle School. We've learned at least two students are involved. Police are working with the school department to investigate the matter. Two people accused of taking part in a significant health care fraud are now facing charges. 60-year-old Michael Breyer of Newton, Massachusetts, and 62-year-old Mayock Bruning of Warwick is in federal court today. 12 News reporter Matt Paddock joins us now from outside the federal courthouse in Providence with the details. Matt. Well, Mike Shannon, CEO Michael Breyer was in front of a judge today, and he now knows the charges he's facing. First off will be health care fraud, aggravated identity theft, falsifying records in a federal investigation, as well as money laundering. The allegations set forth in this case represent one of the most brazen and egregious examples of health care fraud the FBI has seen here in Rhode Island in recent history. On Thursday, the FBI announced that an addiction treatment chain in Rhode Island and Massachusetts is under a significant health care fraud investigation. Impacting roughly 1,500 patients who utilized Recovery Connection services primarily here in Rhode Island. Recovery Connection Centers of America is alleged to have preyed on some of our community's most vulnerable, those battling opioid addiction, all in order to make a quick buck. In fact, shortchanged their patients providing them with little or no therapy and support, while at the same time billing Medicare and other insurers as if they had. According to the United States Attorney Zachary Kuna, not only did Michael Breyer try and falsify documents to obstruct a federal investigation, he alleges that Breyer was issuing prescriptions to patients in another physician's name. We believe this convicted felon, tax evader, and CEO stole millions of dollars until the proverbial mile-long paper trail and dozens of interviews our investigators obtained exposed him. And the U.S. Attorney for Rhode Island says Breyer didn't do it alone, getting help from former employee Miak Bruning. Patients at the clinic were supposed to receive 45 minutes of counseling and addiction treatment, but... Bruning was known as the, quote, five-minute queen because her counseling sessions would last no longer than that. Billing Medicaid and Medicare for the full 45 minutes. On one occasion... Recovery Connection Centers of America billed taxpayers for 38 different patients, claiming they each received 45 minutes of counseling, totaling 28 and a half hours in one day, which as we all know, doesn't add up. Now 12 News spoke to both Breyer and his lawyer as he was leaving court, and they both stuck with no comment at this time, but he has been mandated to wear a GPS ankle monitoring bracelet until he next appears in court. Reporting live in Providence, Matt Paddock, 12 News. Matt, thank you. So what happens to the patients of these facilities in a situation like this? 12 News reporter Adriana Roses Rivera continues our team coverage tonight. Adriana. Well, Mike Shannon, the Rhode Island Department of Behavioral Health Care, Developmental Disabilities and Hospitals tells us an opiate response network team is in place in both Massachusetts and Rhode Island to deal with the aftermath of the investigation. They're working to make sure patients impacted continue receiving the care they need. And whenever something happens that disrupts any services, we're out there to help our clients because it's dangerous for them if they don't get continuum services. So here's the phone numbers that patients may find helpful. Rhode Island patients of Recovery Connection Centers of America who need a bridge prescription can call 401-606-5456. Those who need referrals for treatment elsewhere can call 401 401- 414-5465. And in Massachusetts, if you need a bridge prescription as well, call 617-414-4175. For a treatment referral, call 800-327-5050. The Rhode Island Department of Behavioral Health Care, Developmental Disabilities and Hospitals also said patients can head to a Providence or Pawtucket fire station for help. You can head to our website, WPRI.com, for more information on the investigation and resources. Live in studio, I'm Adriana Rosas Rivera, 12 News. Federal prosecutors say hundreds of people seeking help for addiction in Rhode Island and Massachusetts were the victims of a fraud scheme. The two suspects are the owner of the chain of a substance abuse clinic and a former employee. Prosecutors claim Michael Breyer and Miak Bruning cheated health insurers out of millions of dollars at the expense of their patients. 12 News reporter Matt Paddock joins us from Providence with what he's learned about the allegations. 
Tonight, CEO Michael Breyer now knows the charges he'll be facing. Healthcare fraud, aggravated identity theft, falsifying records in a federal investigation, as well as money laundering. We are here this morning to announce federal charges against Recovery Connections of America. For those battling opioid addiction, sometimes the only way to overcome that battle is with help, medication, counseling, and treatment services. But one Rhode Island-based company, Recovery Connection Centers of America, is accused of preying on some of our communities most vulnerable in order to turn a quick buck. The allegations set forth in this case represent one of the most brazen and egregious examples of healthcare fraud the FBI has seen here in Rhode Island in recent history. Breyer, who pleaded guilty to tax fraud in 2013, once again in trouble with the law for not only issuing prescriptions to patients under another physician's name, but the FBI alleges Breyer also falsified documents to obstruct the investigation. We believe this convicted felon, tax evader, and CEO stole millions of dollars until the proverbial mile-long paper trail and dozens of interviews our investigators obtained exposed him. And the U.S. Attorney for Rhode Island says Breyer didn't do it alone, getting help from former employee Miak Bruning. Bruning was known as the, quote, five-minute queen because her counseling sessions would last no longer than that. Billing Medicaid and Medicare for the full 45 minutes. On one occasion, Recovery Connection Centers of America billed taxpayers for 38 different patients, claiming they each received 45 minutes of counseling, totaling 28 and a half hours in one day which, as we all know, doesn't add up. 12 News tried speaking with Michael Breyer as he was leaving the courtroom today, and both he and his lawyer both stated that they have no comment at this time. Now, he has been told to surrender his passport and will be monitored with a GPS ankle bracelet until his next trial hearing. Reporting in Providence, Matt Paddock, 12 News.